When you look into your mother's eyes, you know that is the purest form of love on this earth. I didn't say that. Someone named Mitch did. Mitch Album said that. I read that and read a reflection from Hoda Kotb as we are moving through her book. I really needed this today. Words to live by. That is today's quote for Thursday, January... Is it the 9th? I think it's the 9th. Anyway, it's the next day in the series. My brain is kind of scrambled. It's been a very hectic and busy day. And of course it ends right here uh, with a beautiful sunset behind me over there. But what really drew me to this location was, well, it's a nice place to park the car. But also, it's a full moon, which is terrifying. There's the full moon right there. You can see it right above the tree line right there. And if you are a teacher, then you understand that a full moon with very young children in your classroom can be quite a terrifying thing. But we're not talking about terrifying children. We're not talking about full moons. Uh, we are talking about that quote. And the wonderful reflection that Hoda gave was, I'm going to pick up my bag right down here real quick. As we head into Publix to do some shopping, I have to get some uh, products, some hair care products, and uh, some nibbles to bring in the class some food. So, um, and tomorrow's Friday. Tomorrow's Donut Friday. We do that every Friday in my classroom. So I pick up some donuts here or get some fresh from Donut. Dug a donut in the morning. I'm not quite sure yet. But very um, sidetracked. Refocus. We center Ken. Okay, so Hoda gave this wonderful, wonderful reflection about her mom. How she says that she calls her mom every day at 11.01 a.m., which is one minute after she finishes broadcasting the Today Show. And she just loves her mom, and she loves her mom's enthusiasm and love for life. And I read that before I left my classroom, and I have about a 35, 40 minute drive home. And as I was driving home, I started to think about all the wonderful things that I love about my mom. She's very um, selfless, she's very giving, um, she has a big heart, and I could spend hours of vlogs talking about all the amazing things that my mom um, contributed to my life, how much I love her and adore her. And as I was thinking about all this, there was a, a song on the radio by a band called Iron Maiden. I'm a big, big Iron Maiden fan. And it's a long song. It's, it was played for a long time. And as I was listening to that song and listening to the lyrics and the music, I started thinking about music in general. I've always had music in my life. Growing up as a young child, we always played records in the house. I was born in 1971. So growing up with uh, bands like Steely Dan and Elton John and Styx and things of that nature, Almond Brothers Band, my father was really into Billy Joel and all those guys. My mom was more into more of Motown, Supremes, uh, Frankie Valli, um, that whole era of music. And as much as my dad contributed to my love for music, it really wasn't until I became uh, a middle schooler, an early, early teenager, then into my teen years that I really fell in love with music. My mom contributed so much to my love for music. She took me to my very first concert back in 1986 at the Ocean Center in Daytona Beach, Florida. Peter Frampton opened up for Stevie Nicks. And I remember sitting in those stands as if it happened yesterday. It's really bonkers. It's a very fresh memory still to this day, these many years later. I remember sitting and watching Peter Frampton and every time you see concerts on television or in, in movies you always see it but you never really realize what it is that you're living in the moment. And I remember looking at that stage and all those lights and all that smoke and um, all the effects and I was like wow this is really cool this is a really big deal my very first concert and Stevie Nicks was absolutely amazing and it was the Rock a Little tour so that tells you how far it goes back but um, from then on it just became um, so just a love for music and all kinds of music you know, I grew up on the you know in my teen years uh, groups like Van Halen and Prince and as I got older, as much as I loved the Allman Brothers and Steely Dan and Leonard Skinner, I slowly got into the heavier, heavier stuff. And by heavier, I mean like White Snake and all those 
big 80s hair bands. Uh, Motley Crue. But then I discovered thrash and metal and my life changed. I was into bands like Slayer and SOD and Anthrax and Iron Maiden, which isn't thrash, but it's, you know, the icons of metal. And so I contribute so much of that love for music. I remember to this day, again, very fresh in my memory, every Sunday, my mom, my brother and I and her friend Bobby would drive to the beach and we'd have a bag full of cassette tapes or WDIZ on the radio and we'd just drive to the beach with the windows down, jamming to Brian Adams and guys like that. And um, yeah, just I contribute so much of my love for music to my mom and how there was always music in our life. To this day, when I get in my car, three things happen instantly. Number one, turn the car on. Number two, the radio goes on before the seatbelt goes on. And I wouldn't know what I would do if I didn't have music in my car from my drives home. So that's my thought for today. Um, Hoda loves the support that her mom gives her. And I love the support my mom gives me. So if you're a mom out there, thank you for being a positive part in somebody's life. If you're my mom and you get a chance to watch this, thank you, I love you. So I'm gonna peek in there and get some goodies from Publix. And if you're a mom and you have a child in my classroom, <laughs> by chance you're watching this, and tomorrow's a full moon, so get a good night's sleep and tell your kid to behave. <laughs> Again, if you're a teacher, then you understand quite well that a full moon is not welcome in the world of early childhood. But that's it today, short and sweet, a one take, no edited video. Um, last couple days I've been doing edits, which was wonderful. But sometimes you just run out of daylight, it's like this. You just run out of daylight and you have no choice but to do what I'm doing right now. So I say this every time and I mean it every time. If you're watching this, thank you for taking time out of your day to spend with me. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. I'm probably gonna take a break from these for a little bit, uh, not do them as lengthy, and throw in some other videos. I'm just, I haven't been out to Disney in, in over a month, and I feel like I've got the Disney itch coming, so I've gotta get out there, or do something different, do some travel things. So, um, yeah. Just keep 2020 rocking and rolling. As always, thanks. I'll see you guys tomorrow. See ya. Bye.